It's no secret that series standout David Tennant is returning to the second season of Jessica Jones. The how, though, is where viewers are a little fuzzy. As fans will recall, last season ended with our favorite whiskey-guzzling P.I. snapping the neck of her former captor. And I'm no doctor, but that seems like an injury you don't come back from. So how is the Purple Man making another appearance? Pour yourself a double neat, hit those like and subscribe buttons. I'm Chris Carr. Let's talk Kilgrave in season two of Jessica Jones. So here's what we know, guys. We're all well aware that Scotland's gift to us all, David Tennant, is for sure in season two. We've seen him in production stills, which sort of takes some of the mystery out of things. Said Tennant, quote, everyone thought that Marvel would keep this a secret. We'd just sneak out, Kilgrave will just turn up, nobody would see it coming. And I said, that's great, so we're not filming outside at all? So one question still remains, how's a dead guy coming back? Well, comic fans know that a silly little neck snap ain't no thing, and death isn't final for heroes and villains alike. Many fans have speculated that the power strengthening serum Kilgrave took could keep him alive, but I'm not sure about that theory. The serum amplified his powers, and last time I checked, persuasion and healing aren't synonymous. While we did see his powers increase exponentially, I don't think you can talk yourself out of a severed spine. Maybe if Jess had done something different, like rip out the posh prick's tongue as opposed to killing him, I could buy into a healing factor theory. And honestly, that's what I wish had happened. Kilgrave is an incredibly timely villain that forced us to explore power and consent. And that's just not my fangirling talking. Rolling Stone agreed and named Kilgrave and Tennant's portrayal of him as one of the top 40 villain performances of all time. He's come a long way from being the 10th Doctor. You're not 10 anymore. I would have loved to see a powered down, neutered Kilgrave sans tongue. Hard to talk people into doing your dirty work when you can't enunciate. But I guess that's for my own what-if storyline in which his tongue grows back thanks to the purple serum and we see him team up with the Kingpin's wife to take down to the Defenders and rule New York. <sighs> the fanfiction writes itself. So I'd scratch off an actual physical appearance for season two. Now what makes the most sense to me is that Kilgrave is in Jess's head. After all, we've been shown the PTSD episodes he's triggered in season one. Hallucinations, panic attacks, you name it. So it's no stretch of the imagination that Kilgrave's fingerprints would be all over Jess's psyche. Just look at these stills from the shoot. The way Tennant is positioned with the other actors leads me to believe that those who have been under Kilgrave's control will be the only ones acknowledging him, like Jessica and Malcolm. So how are they seeing Kilgrave? Is it like a virus? Is some sliver of Kilgrave still literally alive and well in the minds of his victims? Or is this just an exploration in PTSD? Jessica already has an insane guilt complex. And though Kilgrave definitely had it coming, more blood on her hands may manifest in all kinds of new ways. Namely, mental anguish, anger boning, and stepping up all that binge drinking. Girl needs to practice some self-care. Whatever the Jessica Jones team plans to do, you better believe I'll be binge watching season two with a bottle of whiskey in my hand come March 8th. Now let me know your Kilgrave theories and thoughts in the comments below, and what you hope to see in the new season. While you're at it, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Carr. See you, Space Cowboy.